All right, in this episode of Reaper for Radio, I'm going to show you a cool technique for how you can mix music and voice together very quickly. Now, it's been about three years since I've made any of these tutorials, and there's a lot I could say about that. I'm not going to. I'm going to try and do my best to uh, kind of pick up these uh, quicker tutorials uh, when, you know, when, when, when I find a question that people ask me a lot, um, or when I find a really cool technique for, for doing something in Reaper for uh, the purpose of podcasting or radio. And this is one of those situations, this is something people ask me all the time, is how do I mix voice and music together uh, and make it sound good? <laughs> um, so I found this old track that I made back when I was in uh, college many years ago. It's not necessarily something I would use on my own podcast um, because it's it's just a little bit aggressive sounding, but it does illustrate this point nicely. So let's listen to a little bit of this. And what you can hear in this is this is a very abrasive sound. This is a very lot of high frequencies in here. And those high frequencies, if I were to play this underneath, you would see would really compete with my voice for attention. And what you want when you're when you're mixing for podcasts, you want to make sure that the voice is is front and center. Now you could you could solve this by just turning down the music a whole bunch, right? And the problem is that it still competes a lot. And also you can't really like feel anything from it. You can't feel that bass end in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use low pass filtering. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take an instance of Rhea EQ here from the effects browser. I'm going to drag it onto the track. And with this window here, we have the whole uh, set of frequencies laid out. And you can see the frequencies playing as I, as I play it back. And what I can do is I can just take this top, top frequency and I can pull it down. So here, we'll do this in real time. And here's our low pass filter. Now, this is really nice because I can still have some power here, but but it's cleared out all that space up in the top end for my voice, which is floating around up here now. Um, you know, you can adjust this frequency to your to your liking, but you know, something around here is, is maybe what you're going to be looking for. There's another element though here, which is what's called resonance, and the resonance is is you can see visually described here. Uh, it adds this kind of this kind of bump right before the cut, and and you'll hear what this does. Here we are with no resonance. There's that same sweep. And so, depending on the application, you might find that resonance is a good thing um, to have in your in your uh, low pass filtering. Now, so this is one way to, to make a resonant low pass filter. Now, the nice thing in, in Reaper is that you also just have one built in here. It's called resonant low pass filter. And uh, if we wanted to use this, I've now disabled um, this effect with the checkbox, and now we can try it with just uh, the the resonant low pass filter plugin. And you can see we get the same effect. You just have two knobs now instead of a thousand. Um, you have your frequency, which was what we were dragging left and right here. And then you have the resonance, which is this lump here. If you don't need the visual feedback, this is a really nice plugin. Um, especially, and I'll show you the real trick here, um, because when I'm not talking, you can slide this up. And when I am talking, slide it back down. If you need to adjust the resonance, You certainly can do that as well. If you want to get real fancy about it, what you can do is you can take resonant low pass filter here. You can add an envelope for frequency. And as you can see, we now have a lane in here. We now have an envelope lane here. And I can add envelope points to my heart's content, drag them around a little bit. And now we'll have some fading up and downs of that frequency slider. Let's just pop that out. Hi. 
And that's as hard as it is. Again, this is resonant low pass filtering. Um, it's something I use all the time. You know, you, you do it do it with uh, with tact, of course, but it's a really quick and simple way to get music and voice to play nicely together. Um, my name is Jeff Entman. I produce a podcast for KCRW. It's called KCRW's Here Be Monsters. And if it's of interest to you, you can listen to it at hbmpodcast.com. Um, we talk about stuff that, that people are afraid of and try to uh, try to make it sound good, too, when, when we're doing it. So um, be sure to check out the other videos in the series uh, if you want to hear me about three years younger. And I hope to keep posting these. Um, so if you have any questions or comments about Reaper or just sound in general, be sure to drop me a line down in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, thanks for watching.